my name is Lucia Galindo. I am studying bioengineering at Hofstra University and I'm trying to get a minor in math. I graduated class of 2018. I am currently working on a research that works with endothelial cells and shear stress on them. We are currently working with umbilical cords and we're trying to get endothelial cells to grow on the umbilical cords, but I also just joined the, pro the project. I don't remember an exact age I became interested in science. I, like, I always did well in science and math in school, so it was just a given that I was gonna follow a career in that area. I've always liked it. Something that definitely influenced it is that I uh, used to dance when I was younger. I did ballet for a really long time. And the classes I went to didn't only explain like the artistic side, but the anatomy of the human body. So that was kind of interesting to me. So I've always really understood that and knew I wanted to work in that area. Uh, well, regarding to my major, I don't feel like I really had an inspiration because I didn't really know anybody in my major when I until I started the major. But in science and in research, I'd say my inspiration was my grandfather. He is a professor at one of the universities back home. And he he's done a lot of research. He's always, he raised me very scientifically. So that definitely had an impact. And then engineering wise, I'd say was my dad. My dad's an engineer. So he didn't force me to study engineering, but engineering was always, a uh, a topic at my house. It was always like a good career to follow. So that definitely influenced me. Uh, the path I follow to the major I have now, I'd say, well, I always knew I liked the, the, like, the human body, human biology because of dancing. I knew I, I was interested in how the body moved and how it worked. So when I was gonna graduate high school, I, uh, I thought I was gonna go into med school. And then because of my dad being an engineer, he kind of suggested, hey, like, look at this major, biomedical engineering, it, maybe it interests you. So I started researching a little bit more about the major and if it was interesting, what I could do with it. And that's how I picked my major. Well, before college, I kind of made sure I got like good grades. I try to participate in school. I try to be as balanced as I could, like academic wise, but also like community service, sports, teamwork, NHS, stuff like that. And once I got to college, I kind of try to do that as well. Like I have classes for my major, but then I also am part of clubs like uh, the Latin American club, the book club, the stuff like that. And then over the summer, last summer, I applied to two internships, uh, one at Universidad del Valle and one at Universidad San Carlos. And I got them. And I worked with, in one of them I worked with Chagas disease, with chinches, and then the other one I worked with mosquitoes, with malaria. And in both of them I worked with DNA extraction, PCR, stuff like that, a lot of lab work because I know that's what I want to do in the future. I have programs for girls to be more involved in science. For example, here at the university, I'm part of SWE, which is the Society of Women Engineers. So this is a club at the school, but it's also like an international society. So the purpose of it is to like bring more girls into engineering, have contacts with other women in engineering, because we're definitely less girls in engineering than in other majors. It really influence girls uh, into joining STEM majors because I feel a reason why girls don't do it is because the society and our parents have made them believe, have made us believe that STEM is not a girl's career. But I do feel that something very important is like to have girls know that STEM is a major for them. I feel like we're conditioned to think that because we're girls, we can't follow a STEM major, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, uh, for the future, I hope to work well, when I came into college, I was I wanted to work in cell and tissue engineering, which was which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, but lately, I've been taking some classes where more medical devices are mentioned, so that's definitely a path I would be interested in now. So I'm not really sure about what I what I want to do between those two, but I do know I want to impact the medical field in some way.